guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah. For those of you that don't know me, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells to get notified when I upload a new video. So as you can tell, what, why did I just clap? As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a full face with using just drugstore makeup. So I went to the store. Okay, I'm at the store. I got my mask. Now let's go. I grabbed a bunch of goodies to um, do my makeup with. Uh, everything, drugstore, like Maybelline. The only thing is that I went to the dollar and because of like the whole pandemic thing too, like, you know, there's not a lot of stuff in stock. But also, um, I went to the dollar and if you know me, I'm from a small town and they don't have as many like drugstore, um, what's it called? Like different brands. Like, there was literally three brands there, so a lot of my stuff is from the same brands. Like, I think I only use, like, two brands. So, I'm sorry, bear with me. I was trying to get, like, a variety, but it wasn't working out. Basically, I'm just going to do a whole face using only these products. going to follow my same routine and everything, but it's going to see how it turns out with this. Oh, before we get into the video, I want to say I am so sorry for not uploading on Saturday, but here's my lame excuse. I was at the island, as you saw in my previous vlog, and we did not leave back here until this past Sunday, which is after uploading the schedule, which is on Saturdays. If you do not, if you're new here, I upload every Wednesday and Saturday at six o'clock. Most of the time, I turn out to fail or skip. Okay, I'm sorry, I did it on Saturday, but I was at the vlog. I was, uh, uh, but I was at the island, and I didn't want to continue like the vlog. Because I already had shown you what we had done and pretty much we are doing the same stuff. So I didn't want to just repeat that. And I don't have any pre-recorded videos. So I just didn't film. Point is I have a link to I didn't film and there it is. Oh, my top, if anyone's wondering, is from Viral Fash. And don't forget to use my code HAN118 as always. Viral Fash. It's a cute white top. I don't know the name of it, but it's from Viral Fash. So go ahead and check them out. So let's just get right into this because I talk my ass off every time for the intro. The first thing I'm going to do is my brows and I will be using LA Colors uh, Automatic Brow Pencil and Spoolie and Brownie and Dark. They didn't have a medium brown which is what I normally go with so they might come on really normally I'm scared. But it's okay, right? All I'm here for me. Actually, just looks like a basic brow that's a little um, spoolie on the... I remembered on this side and then the color is on this side and it's just kind of like my other benefit one that I have so literally the same just off brand so let me do my eyebrows really quick off camera because you all know this is the longest part of my whole makeup routine so let's do that and then I will pick you up in two seconds okay so I want to like review the product after it's like really quick like I'm not gonna go on and on but I just wanted to do that so those of you who do like to buy a drugstore or um Try new like drugstore products because you know there's actually a lot of really good drugstore products. For this one, they look dark, but then again, my eyebrows always look dark on camera. I don't know why. Like they just always look so so dark, and they're not that dark. But on camera, they always look so dark. Number two, um, it just overall it, like it does the same job. It just is it feels a little sticky, but that's probably it. But I've never used like pomade pomade actually like, years ago, but that's it. But overall, like for the job, it's good. But don't come at me for my eyebrows because I have not seen my eyebrow person in quarantine, way before quarantine. And they were looking rough this morning, but I just used a little blade shaver and like took as much hair off as I could. Okay, so next is the Fit Me Maybelline uh, Concealer Stick in shade Light Medium. And I've used this before. That's another reason I didn't want to, like, some of these things I got in a lot of the same brand because I've used other things and I wanted to try new things. So I got, but this one I have used, but it's been, like, four years since I've used this stick. County I live in. Uh, it's actually out of quarantine since May 1st. So we are out of quarantine, but everyone, you know, like, people are going crazy and I don't really, like, you should just stay home because, yeah, we're out of quarantine, but it doesn't mean everything's gone. So please just stay home. As I said, I have used this one before. But the only thing is that it is very yellow toned and they only have like four shades for me to choose from. So I had to get what I had to. Okay, so overall that is great. I've used it before. You see it's like that's my everyday product, but I don't use it anymore. 
I think it's a little hard to blend. I don't know why. I feel like it won't blend into my skin. So I use a Power Wet n Wild Prime Focus Prime Serum Hydrating one. So I barely bought this. I've used it once. So and I was also gonna hurry. I wasn't even doing it like to do. So let's try it out. I don't know what you're supposed to put. It smells good. For being drugstore, it smells pretty good. Because if you've noticed, a lot of drugstore um, things don't smell too pleasing. Okay, right, well, while that dries, I want to say that I really want to do a cooking video, as I mentioned, I think in my last video or the video before that, I don't know. Um, and I think I'm going to do one next. So if you really, unless you really don't want to see it, just comment below that you don't want to see it. Because I was going to film that. But if you don't want to see it, I won't film it. Can you tell how dark I got after being at the island for a week? We were there for like nine days actually. You can tell how dark I got. I'm going to be using Believe Beauty foundation. I've never used, never heard of it. But you know, I forget that I got darker, so hopefully it matches because as you can tell right now, it looks like it's not gonna match at all. I guess it's a builder, builder, build up uh, foundation. Not too much of a fan like, for how it feels. It feels really wet. Okay guys, so right off the bat, this thing is a little bit too light for my skin and I forgot because I'm a darker, but oh well. Number two, I do not, <clears throat> oh my god, what the hell, I'm not even sick. Number two, I just do not like the way it's sitting on my face. Like, I don't know, I just really do not like the way it looks sitting. I'm just going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Face Foundation in shade 325. So I was backwards for a second. I'm just gonna go and lightly put it all over my face. Okay. That powder is great. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so next is concealer, and I am going to use the Maybelline um, Fit Me Shade 20. Sand, yeah. The same way I always do, just under my eyes. I literally have not used this one in so long, it's crazy. The only thing I think is, is that this brush, like, um, It's so hard. Like the applicator of it is so hard. You guys, another thing, I have such sensitive skin and it burns my face. I'm going to use is my LA Colors powder, loose powder, and shade light. I've never used, never seen it. We'll see if it's good. It's like actually a very like big thing, and I think it was only four dollars. So hopefully this sits well and it doesn't just make me look like a ghost. I just do not like the way it's setting on my face and like the way it is to apply. Like it feels very like rough to move. It's like not so loose. Like it looks more like pressed powder. I don't know. While that is sitting there, I'm going to go ahead and do my contour. And I got this, so the stick, I'm gonna do the cream portion first. So I got this stick from Belief Beauty as well. And it is medium, I think, yeah, medium. And it has, it's a dual-ended stick, so it has a darker side and a lighter side, but I'm just going to use the darker side. This is really wet. Okay, so actually, for the applicator portion of that, that was really good, just super easy, just, like, I didn't struggle. It wasn't, like, dry or anything. It was super creamy and just placed really well. The camera makes me look like I have a brown light, and in person, it does not look that dark. What the heck? I like the concealer, oh, the whole mixture on my nose is not looking like, I don't know if you can tell, look. No, you can't tell on camera, I don't think you can. But it's not good. My nose looks really pory. It's bronzer, but we have a little quick story. Quick story time. I bought it, it was fine. I think when she placed it into the, um, bag for me to take. I think she broke it on accident and so it's all broken. This is for my blush, bronzer, and highlight. I'm using the same from Believe Beauty and it is the shade light medium for all three. It is a get glowing highlight and contour palette but they're all broken so like look at this guys. So I'm, I'm just gonna use it still though because replace nicely. 
Why does it look so brown on camera? You guys, like, I swear, it doesn't look like that. Okay, that set feels fine, perfectly fine. Did the job, whatever. I'm sweating. Okay, next is the blush. Guys, this is so hard since it's all broken. I'm trying to just like touch only the blush. Ooh, and I don't know if it picked up a lot because it's broken or that's the pigmentation of it. Yeah, you can see how like powdery that is, but it might be because it's broken. Like on my face, you can see how like powdery that looks. Okay, so I'm going to put the highlight. Hopefully it's not too pink because it's like mixed with the blush a little. And that's some good highlight. I'm be doing my uh, eyeshadow with a Day to Night LA Colors again brand um, eyeshadow palette. Look like this basic bronze palette I just found. It's a hard thing to do with drugstore, always. There's not that many good like brands that are for eyeshadow that are drugstore so. Just gotta build it up. Pigmentation on this is just bad, but whatever. Gonna work with it. Hey, the glitter works. Wow. Wow, guys, like it works. You know, I put a lot because I thought it was gonna work. Whoops. That now I got an eyeliner, which I normally don't do my eyeliner on camera because it's a nightmare and I just, I don't know. So, I did get one though from Rally Colors as well, and it's Precise Lining and Control Eye Marker in black. But I'm so hot, guys. I'm gonna pass out in here. I didn't really look off camera because that's another struggle of mine, just like eyelashes. So, I'm back. Okay, you guys, so I did the like little like line on my eyelid, but like I'm trying to wing it, and the eyeliner was pretty good. Like it wasn't, it was really liquidy, like going on and pulling everything fine. But then it dried out very fast. So it's super dried out, so that's the only thing. It dried out so fast and I'm trying to wing it and it like keeps making a thick one because I'm, it's not coming out. So then I push a little harder and then it like comes out. So I'm trying. Okay, do not judge me. I tried my best to wing it. That was really hard to apply with this. I do not recommend this. It just dried out and it just wasn't working, so don't judge me, I tried. Okay, mascara and lipstick, so let me go ahead and apply this mascara, which is LA Color as well. So I know there's a lot of Maybelline concealers, but a lot of people already know those, but a lot of people use them. I use them, and so I want to try new things. I wanted to show y'all, like, you know, it's maybe something you haven't tried. I want to pick a brand that, I don't know, maybe it works, and like, everybody knows that Maybelline is like the drugstore go-to mascara, so I wanted to try another one. It is the Curl Perfection Volumizing um, LA Curl Color Mascara. The Curled Wand, it is thick. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it. Hold on. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, there you go. It is curled and thick and full. Yeah, so let's see how it works. My last curler sucks though, so. Still looking pretty well. It works, maybe it would be a little bit better if my lash curler worked. You'd be able to see it, because it does make them very um, full and dark. So lastly, I'm gonna let that dry. I was gonna put the setting spray on, but we'll wait. I got a lipstick from LA Colors as well. They didn't have that many options. Like, they're a bunch of weird colors. So I got, like, a new, nude, what? I got, like, a pink-brown kind of tone color. It is the same, it is the shade 462. Its name is Tender, and it looks like this. I just touched it all. It is a matte, I think. Yeah, it's matte. So let me go ahead and put that on. In my opinion, it is very see-through. Like if you're close to me, you can see a lit color underneath. And so it makes you have to add like a lot of product to cover it, which makes it look a little thick and chalky. I think it looks chalky. 
And it's supposed to be matte, but it feels very um, gooey. Okay, I'm gonna show you a close up of my. Okay, you can see the lip side, they look chalky. Um, my eyes. I'm trying to show you the mascara. Okay. So lastly, I've used all my with my products. I'm going to use the Believe Beauty Again um, Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. Shake it. Oh, let me spray my face. This never turned um, matte. It never dried. This smells weird. Ugh. And it feels like a mist. What the hell? Okay, my setting sprays have always been like very wet. Like I use the Urban Decay one. And this feels really dry and misty. I don't know. And it smells weird. I started putting this stuff away because my face is drying. Thinking about the powder, it doesn't close right. That's bad. This spray does not dry. Like. I don't know, and it left my um, foundation like even more poor. You guys, this is just not a good foundation, I think, or everything just combined did not sit well. I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, so this is the final. Um, overall, I think from afar, from the camera and all that, your makeup looks bomb, your makeup looks good, whatever. But close up, you're like standing right here next to me. You'd be like, girl, your pores are all out. That lipstick looks gross. What happened to your liner? And then the mascara is clumpy. So. From a farm, from a video, from six feet apart, you look good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed seeing me try out all these new products I've never had. <laughs> it was all right. I mean, for being drugstore and like that cheap, you know. Got all the way, I, I, I completed what I needed to do, full face makeup. And I got it and I look all right, it doesn't look bad at all. But, yeah, that's the drugstore is. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. It just feels a little... The makeup doesn't... I don't know. Whatever. Lastly, before I close out this video, I want to say thank you again to all my supporters. I always do. My new subscribers. Hello. Thank you for following me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. <laughs> don't forget to check out Viral Fast to see this shirt if you want it or other, other clothing. I have a discount code as always. And you can use that at checkout for some money off. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Why did I wave? It is so hot in here. Oh, my God.